Xdebug is an application that will um that will just save you a load of time and it's one of those applications that although they're free you just do want to uh donate to um now Xdebug will allow you to debug your product your your projects really easily and quickly it will also help to format um your error messages in your development site and also um when you use var dump it will uh, display in a more readable format now um to get it installed you basically the first thing that you really want to do is you want to do this uh, echo php info save that um i've actually already got it installed because i did try this um tutorial earlier on but um the problems you might face when you're using a non vanilla version of php on your machine is that you'll be typing in php but it's um pointing to your original version of php not the one you installed and that's what i was going through earlier on today um, so this is what you do, you uh, look at your PHP info, control A, control C, uh, like so. Then you go to xdebug, I'm running out of RAM for some reason, do excuse me. Um, and then click on custom installation instructions and literally this is just a life saver, makes your life a whole lot easier. You don't really need to know what you're doing for this to work. I should add in here, by the way, that if you're using a, a pre-built package of uh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, so like XXAMP, ZAMP, I think people pronounce it, or MAMP on the Mac, um, then you probably don't need to do this. It's um probably, uh, it, Xdebug is probably with the installation. I know it is on ZAMP. Don't know about MAMP or the others. Um, so I think you just need to enable it as opposed to actually install it. Um, so yeah, you basically then paste it in there, analyze my PHP info. It will do what it's doing. I am I do not know why I'm completely out of RAM. Do forgive me. Um, but yeah, so this is where you're most likely to have a problem uh, when you start doing the PHP eyes thing. Oh, well, so let me rewind. Basically, just follow these instructions. But you, if you haven't got a, um, if you're running a non-vanilla version of um, of PHP, you will run into, you might run into uh, problems here. Um, what I did to um, overcome this is, um, and basically, I uh, just a disclaimer. I won't, I'm basically not liable for any problems you may encounter by doing this. Um, just as a disclaimer, it's, it, I, it, for me it's entirely safe, but I'm just putting it out there. Um, you, you do this at your own risk. So uh, what I did is what I, I copied my slash user slash bin folder. I copied the whole directory and I backed up somewhere on my um, in my home folder. Um, and then I copied uh, PHP, so uh, I think I still have it up here somewhere. Because I, like I said, it was actually a nightmare trying to get this installed with this non-vanilla version. But I did that so that you lot wouldn't go through the same thing. Um, you basically, I copied PHP, um, let me go there, it will make a lot more sense. So cd opt local bin ll. Okay, now in here ll php. I, I I do not understand why I how I run out of RAM. It's it, it's beyond me. Okay, so now you've got php dash config five four that you need to remove. No, you need to move. You need to copy. On now. Okay, it's only showing me that I can tell you that I do have um, more PHP stuff in here. So let me just go to them and what, what the hell? This is what I find really weird. Like I have several gigs of RAM and I'm not actually doing anything, and I've completely run out of rope and just still going. Okay. So what I did is I basically copied PHP config 5.4, PHP 5.4, PHP eyes 5.4 um, and I replaced them after 
cut I'm making a backup of my bin folder. I replaced them. Um, rather, let's just user bin. I replaced them. Oh, for crying out loud! Okay, I'm gonna have to do a serious query as to why I'm running so slow. I mean, this tutorial should be finished by now, but I mean, I can't really help this. I've got eight gigs of RAM on this machine. I can put in 64, but I can't afford 64 gigs worth of RAM. That's that's, that's um, it's, it's very expensive. Okay, and eventually I will get there. Sorry, sorry about this, guys. Okay, so what I did is I basically uh, replaced these three files here. Um, like I said, um, make sure to back up anything, and I'm not liable for any problems that do occur. Um, when that does happen, when you run that. Basically everything should be cool. If you run PHP eyes and you get a a error in the order of something like auto config is cannot be found, etc. etc. Um you basically do like a sudo if you're using Mac ports it'll be sudo port install auto auto config. If you're using homebrew sudo in sudo brew install auto config. So basically something to that effect. And um after that is when things okay bonnet. so sudo if you sudo nano opt local etc this time php54 php any and then you type in your super strength password same joke every time do you forgive me and then you press control V to get to the very end. That's I just do it this way, it's just my convention. Okay. And then um xdebug xdebug dot remote enables so basically just uh take a look at this and write it down. Uh, not write it down, put it in your PHP any file um that your PHP is loading and also the last one here, you make sure that's in there as well. That one's further up in the document. And then when you look at your PHP any, do a command F. It's just not responding. It's seriously not responding. XD. Sorry, wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that is what I want. XD. Painful. So you see, now you have all of these. um thingies here now for you to use um i'm just working on a kjv application right now and let me just show you how much better it makes your var dumps come on come on s and eventually and you can see my that is a lot more readable you can see what data types things are um the name of the objects etc and uh let's make a warning of some sort let's call this why we should get a un undeclared variable warning um yep if you see that undefined variable why blah 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 and it's a lot nicer to read especially if you've got a um a much more complicated application because that will be a nice stack stack trace got there in the end and then you can basically look back and you can sort of tell where your application went wrong um but as for this tutorial so sorry about um the lack of ram i honestly apologize for that um I'm looking at my recording thing here and it's updating very, very slowly in terms of uh, the time. Um, and I will look into that. But um, as for this tutorial, as ever, thank you very much for watching. Notice how I've been a bit more coherent today. I'm not usually this coherent. And uh, that's after four hours of sleep. Maybe I should sleep less. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much.